The moment Esteban Santiago pulled out his gun was recorded on cameras. It was obtained and released by TMZ over the weekend. Officials say mental illness may have been a factor in last Friday's shootings, in which Santiago, a 26-year-old veteran, allegedly killed five people and wounded six. But officials have not ruled out terrorism as a motive. On Monday, Santiago appeared in federal court for a procedural hearing which outlined the charges he faces, including federal airport violence and firearm charges. Unemployed and with limited savings, Santiago received a court-appointed lawyer. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. According to an FBI affidavit, Santiago acknowledged he had planned the attack. He was armed with a Walther 9mm semi-automatic handgun and two magazines stored in his luggage. According to the affidavit, when he arrived in Fort Lauderdale, he retrieved his luggage and loaded his gun in a restroom. Santiago joined Puerto Rico's National Guard in 2007 and served in Iraq for a year between 2010 and 2011 as a combat engineer, a job combining construction and combat skills on the battlefield. In November, while living in Alaska, he told federal officials that he was hearing voices and that the government was trying to control his mind and had forced him to watch terror propaganda videos. After that incident, Alaskan police reportedly took a handgun from Santiago, but returned it to him after a medical assessment determined he was not mentally ill. We have six gunshot wound victims. Since Friday's shooting, Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel, who's been overseeing the local arm of the investigation, says he believes people suffering from mental illness shouldn't have access to guns. And his office made a plea to lawmakers on Twitter. Lawyers with the U.S. Attorney's Office asked that Santiago remain detained while awaiting trial, arguing that he poses danger and a flight risk. The judge set a hearing on that matter for January 17. In the meantime, Santiago will be held without bond.